Snowdrift. 100 acre wood. Oregon Trail. Olympus Rally. NSTPR. Five rallies, five wins. David Higgins and Craig Drew take first overall for SRT USA. It's a perfect season in the making for Subaru Rally Team USA, but it's never that easy. Here at the New England Forest Rally, the stiffest competition of the season is looking to put an end to their winning streak. Probably the best entry list I think we've ever faced uh, in any American rally we've done over the past four and a half years. The return of familiar faces has elevated the game. An international powerhouse has brought new machinery to the fight. Talented teammates have something to prove. Plus, all the season-long contenders are aiming for the podium and an outright victory. This weekend, championship points and titles take a back seat. Winning this event against these rivals is all that matters. This is Launch Control. It's a perfect summer day in Maine. Perfect for a day of fishing on the lake. Perfect for a final test. It's 48 hours before the biggest showdown of the season. Bucky Lassick has come to cheer on his teammates. David and Travis have come to win. Higgins and Drew have run and won every event this season. The rally car is their second home. Ken's coming back in, so Ken, it'll be, yeah. should be a it's good battle. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Travis and Chrissy are jumping in cold. Having been out of the rally car for nearly a year, they review footage and fine-tune their pace notes, hoping to be up to speed from the first stage. Everyone hopes the rally goes better than Bucky's fishing adventure. Flatten your feet, drive your heels. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, let's do it. <laughs> Keep your head above the water, all right? You got it, mate. You got a <laughs> rope, bud. Come on. A boat, pulling a boat, pulling a boat. <laughs> Friday morning brings the crowds. Make sure you push them down because mommy's going to go really fast. They might peel off. <laughs> Just want to get you on video. Oh, Just video. Hey. Day. Start of the day. Feeling good? Car still on pace, so see if we can keep it that way. There we go. Good luck. Thanks, Thank guys. You. The official start of the 2015 New England Forest Rally and its strong entry list has the North American Rally community buzzing. Uh, it's going to be a great event. I mean, everybody's here. It's so cool. So, I'm going to be behind uh, Yeoman at the very beginning, but definitely we've got Block Higgins right behind us. Ramana is back in a WRC car, so, uh, you know, he's really good up here, especially on these roads, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, a really good battle. Yeah, no, it's good. We've been looking forward to this all year, so, you know, it's going to be a, a cracking first day, some awesome stages to get going with Concord Pond and the big jump, so you need to wake up pretty early and get out there and be fully on it straight away. I'm feeling confident ahead of the rally and see what happens. Uh, the pressure's definitely on. You know, we've had the, the perfect season so far and we don't want these guys to come back and ruin it for us, so we're going to be flat out from the word go and um, treat it like any other rally, but there's definitely a little bit more pride on the line at this one. You know, in my mind, I want to have a perfect season every single season. That's how I approach every rally. That won't change for this one. Obviously, the, the, the competition certainly changed, but the outcome and the way I'm looking at it hasn't. It's all smiles and pleasantries until the cars get to stage one. Everyone wants to fire the first shot and make their claim on the leaderboard. Stage one, Concord Pond. This is an iconic American stage, high speed, 
technical driving and spectacular jumps. FY Racing is first on the road, meaning all the top contenders will have equal levels of dust. Second on the road is Travis Pastrana and Chrissy Beavis. Let's kill it. <laughs> Got it. They are running an updated 2014 STI, last year's championship winning car. Travis wants to prove right away there are no cobwebs. His rallycross teammate, Bucky Lassick, is roadside to get his first taste of rally dust. Rookie mistake, leaning up against this uh, this sap covered tree. Bucky Lassig, you know, clearly not hey, an outdoorsman. I got Pretty experience good driver. everything. I got experience everything. Where's that poison ivy at? No pain, no oh, yeah. pain. Yeah. This is a really exciting event for Subaru and the whole team. Uh, this is our biggest fight of the season. We've been preparing for it for a long time with the hottest competition we can face in the United States. We even have guys here from Europe uh, coming to give us a good challenge. Um, we're definitely in our element, we're ready to put on a huge fight, and uh, looking forward to an amazing weekend of competition and hanging out with fans. Ken Block is next into the stage with David Higgins and Craig Drew on deck. The moment has arrived. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go 100. Left is 100. 60. Late. Left. Four. Higgins and Drew click instantly. 35. Right, four lips drive. Opens plus right, 100. Right, six in past junction then, middle flat press, 100. Late left, five plus narrow down, close to the bridge. Downstage, Pastrana is flying. He crosses the finish with the fastest time so far. Four minutes, 19 seconds. One second faster than rival Ken Block. Still in the stage, Higgins and Drew are on full attack. Number 75 crosses the finish five seconds faster than their teammates, placing both Subarus in first and second. A short service allows teams to regroup before two long stages to end day one. Both crews are confident. First stage, uh, it's good. David turned in just an awesome time. He's, uh, he's leading, but uh, we're sitting second, so that's, that's pretty good for us. Uh, Ken and I are within, within a second, so it's going to be a, a really good battle at the end. So, good morning, why you cool? Concord Pond's always been a very difficult stage for us, the big jumps, and we're not really a massive fan of big jumps, but we had a really good uh, push this year and actually found probably three jumps that we've never jumped on before, so obviously it was, a, it was a good run, but it's literally one stage down 12 to go, so we're not going to get carried away. Both cars leave service, but only one makes it to stage two. Travis and Chrissy suffer an electrical fault on the transit. Stranded, they're forced to take time penalties and restart tomorrow. With just one factory Subaru running the remaining two stages, Higgins and Drew take to the line. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. 80 flat press, 50. Keep right of a press on early left. Stage two is 16 miles and represents over 50% of the competitive miles today. 
David and Craig expect their competition to mount an attack here. The longer the stage, the more time can be gained. The stage is fast. Many turns in fifth and sixth gear. Right, six minus long don't. Then left six in, then right six minus opens long long. Then short left six and right five plus. Then slowing left five minus of a crest. Then right. The four, wide four. open stage suits Subaru's main rivals Ken Block and Alex Gelsomino. They're known for their full commitment at top speed. Block crosses the finish with a time of 12 minutes, 57.9 seconds. As David and Craig approach the finish, they're pushing at 10 tenths, not leaving anything to chance. All the way there, 150 of a small crest, right six long, 120. Left six long points, okay, left over 200. They cross the line with a time of 12 minutes 39.6, nearly 18 seconds faster, extending their lead to 23 seconds. With the cars lined up for the next stage, teams have a few moments to compare times. Subaru has clearly made their mark in the early stages. But have they asserted dominance or angered the monster? 15. With so much rally still to run, can they keep up this pace? Ten. Or are they risking too much? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go flat left, 120. Flat right, 150. Late. Next time on Launch Control, David Higgins and Craig Drew ride the fine line of speed and risk. When there's some new pads for the first time on the road, it's always pretty tricky. While Travis Pastrana and Chrissy Beavis fight to get back into the mix. Felt great. Went out there. I, mean, I was off the road more than I was on it, but I mean, it felt fast. That's next time on Launch Control. <laughs>